Just by looking at these two animals, can you tell which one is male and which one's female? How about these? And one more set? It's actually pretty easy when the animals happen to be dimorphic. That means that there are two different versions of animals that are the same species. In these cases, that dimorphism can give us clues whether they're male or female. It can be a coloration difference, like the brightly colored feathers on a male duck, an added body feature, like the mane of a male lion, or just the sheer body size and structure differences of the male orangutan. But for some animals, it's a bit more subtle. Take the giant Pacific octopus, for example. Do you know if this is a male or a female? Me neither. But I've been told that today we're getting special access behind the scenes with an octopus expert right here at Point Defiant Sioux and Aquarium. Maybe she can give us some tips. This is Ollie. Uh, we can tell this is male by looking at his third arm. He's from our local water. He's about eight, um, eight feet arm span, about 36 pounds now. If it's octopus is female, she has a suction cup all the way down to the tip of the right third arm. But if it's male, he does not have the suction cup. Instead, he has a smooth tip and then the groove in the center. The male octopus uses that arm to send the sperm packet into female body. It is said octopus is free grown about 15 feet arm span, but it could be 30 feet arm span as well. Yeah, they get really big. So we're going to behind the scene and then meet the octopus. I'm just going to play with him a little bit. Uh, octopus seems enjoying the tactile interaction. Goodness. Anyway, you're a you know that octopus can taste with suction cup. So yeah. That's awesome. He's tasting you. Are you tasting me, sir? <laughs> we'll collect giant Pacific octopus from local water and we have a special permit to release them when they get matured because octopus, giant Pacific octopus mate only once in a lifetime so we'll give them a chance to reproduction and so that we don't lose any. Definitely have an individual tendency to do something interesting so each octopus has a difference and I enjoy that personality. Well, there you have it. By my now expert calculations and all of that great information that we got, we can definitely tell that this octopus is a male. Or, or maybe a female. Um, excuse me, octopus, could you please move that arm a little bit? I just need to take a better, no, the third arm on the right. I, okay, all right, well, looks like you're taking a nap. Not to worry, maybe later.